here it is everyone the ultraviolet folio using digital printouts from rickety snippets on etsy definitely check her out she has a, a youtube channel as well as an instagram and i am so excited to be able to use her printouts as a design team project and these are her all three ultraviolet kits and I have kind of garnered a little audience today Luna and my adorable fox and panda my little owl my little ghosty he's nervous because he's never been on camera before but he's waving hi and then there is calliope and another little owl so let's prop you up top so that you can see all the goodies all right everyone here is the completed ultraviolet series folio got some things on some bulb pins uh, some little beads glass beads some fabrics buttons um, my favorite piece is this little cute little tassel with a tiny heart i love that and here we go we've got little pockety things here one two three this piece comes off it is a hidden paper clip. You can use it as a bookmark or anything. I have used it as the closure to the folio itself. There is a front pocket with another little pocket piece in there. We've got some goodies there. A little playing card. pocket. I love the secret pocket look because there's the back and you barely know that it's there. So cool. All right, and there's the side. It's got a tiny little spine and then here's the back and we shall pull these out. Has, uh, this is vintage, um, it might be antique uh, French trim, both pieces. I think this might be antique or vintage French. I'm not certain about the green. I don't remember. Sorry. Um, but there's a cute little button. There's that part. And here are these awesome pockets. There are three of them. There's the back side. And they each have a pocket inside in the top. A big pocket. There's some little ephemera pieces in each of them. They have a matching card. And they also have the seamless pocket. Which I think is quite awesome. Show you guys these ones. There's the backs. Some ephemera pieces. There's the card. More ephemera pieces. And there's the pocket. I have not enough room for all of the ephemera pieces in these three kits and they are listed down in the description box below and i do have process videos for the making of this one as well if you would like um to see that playlist i will link it hopefully up in the corner um, but there's that one so cool okay now let's get into the main body of the folio again there is a front pocket and when you flip it open 
this is oops um this is actually a little tuck spot i forgot to tuck that little card in there i wondered why it was loose but there is a little tuck spot there and there is a large pocket here look at that gorgeous fairy and these beautiful flowers oh, i just love these are all from rickety snippets i love sally's style these are so beautiful now here we have little um tab file folders okay we'll just flip through the folders really quick there is one two three and four now this is going to be the third um ultraviolet kit and they each have in them a little file folder now you can glue these together or you can turn them into their own pocket they all have the little file folder inside and you can put pockets in there and what have you and look how pretty that bird is the butterfly the fairy to the bird it's all just beautiful butterfly on the back and the last one and these match um the pockets the tab the tag pockets as well so if you wanted to you could actually put these in there and i wonder if these are nope they're not short enough but you could shrink these down in your printer so that they could also go in there be interchangeable that way as well and you can make these really big and put like um a journal booklet in here instead of the folder file folders that'd be really awesome and here is a beautiful butterfly flip up with a pocket vintage lace and then we've got a little vintage book page in there and a lace hinge and then here is I took two pieces of the ephemera and this one's narrower and taller as you can see but I put some book pages on the sides of this one and now it's a neat little pocket for some things so put that in there and I love it coordinates so well with the kits and also with the previous kits so you can mix everything together. Here's some more ephemera pieces. And, see, and you don't even have to, I, I purposefully left a lot of these plain because I didn't feel the need that you don't have to decorate them. They don't need it. And then look at this darling little bird. I put the cute little page tab on it. There's that. And there's a beautiful flower again. And a gorgeous butterfly. Done like a postage stamp. So there is that. And then here is the back. So I hope you guys like this one i love love all the little pieces i put on the end there so i want to thank everyone for being here new and old and everyone for subscribing liking uh commenting sharing anybody uh for your support that way also we have the tip jar down below for extra support i, I need glue <laughs> Um, anyway, so, uh, I shall see you guys the next time. Stay tuned for, I think Halloween stuff is coming up next. I'm so excited. My little, my little witchy frogs.
are getting so happy and they'll be in some of my some of my fun videos I hope for you and uh, till next time craft happy everyone bye